recording, we will see how a business technical analyst uses IBM Stored IQ to identify exposures as part of a business controls audit, with the ultimate goal being to reduce and manage risk caused by dark data within her business. Paula, the business technical analyst, will use filters in order to identify and refine exposures to the business as part of the audit. Upon finding the issues, she creates a report documenting the exposure and manages the data to ensure proper actions are taken to reduce the risk to her business. Having indexed the data, Paula is reviewing the All Data Overview information. The data map presented gives her a feel for the amount of data that falls into each category based on the relative size of the boxes presented. Paula begins her audit by focusing on employee desktops, significantly reducing the objects she will need to work with. This is a good source of confidential information that would be an exposure to the business as well as a possible source of data rot, otherwise known as redundant, obsolete, and trivial data. Paula filters for desktops in order to create a new working info set. Paula knows she will be working with this data set repeatedly, so she creates a new info set that contains all of the materials associated with employee desktops. Knowing the release of sensitive personal information is a key exposure and risk, Paula reviews the library of filters and selects the filter that will identify Personal Identifiable Information, or PII. The info set identified by this filter will need to be evaluated closely to ensure proper access, management, and control. Paula creates a new personal desktop info set. Paula views current info sets that are available and selects the personal desktop information info set that was just created. She views the info set and decides to focus on exposed social security numbers that may be contained within this info set. She selects the social security number overlay to gauge her exposure. Using the Social Security Number Heat Map Overlay, Paula identifies a major exposure in the email information owned by Mary Smith. Acting on this information, Paula creates an owner filter for Mary Smith. Using that filter, Paula creates a new Mary Smith info set with an identifier to enable it to be tracked as part of the audit. To ensure audit integrity, Paula validates the path she has taken during the identification of this finding. She then creates an audit work item report for the business controls information audit. Paula emails a report to the team members who are conducting key interviews to ensure that Mary Smith, the owner of this information, is interviewed as part of the audit. Upon completion of her work for sensitive personal information, Paula continues to work with the employee desktop info set as she begins her focus on the business and financial strategy aspects of the audit. Paula creates a new filter using the Auto Classify option to identify confidential documents. In this case, the classification engine has returned results with a confidence level of 90%. She quickly reviews the results of this filtering activity, and then creates a targeted text filter searching for the keyword strategy located within 10 words of 2014, 2015, etc. Her goal is to identify key strategy documents that are not being properly controlled. She creates a future strategy info set and utilizes overlays for key financial terms such as revenue, net earnings, etc. Paula reviews the visual for this info set. As she expected, she sees that the majority of the information is contained in word processing documents and spreadsheets. However, Paula is surprised by the volume of presentations and email containing these keywords. Paula switches views to the financial terms overlay and confirms that indeed presentations and email do contain high volumes of confidential business information. Paula views the work that she has just completed to ensure that she's collected all of the relevant material that will be needed as part of the audit. She now creates an audit work item report as another exhibit for the audit team and she again emails a report to the interview team to ensure that the owner of the information is interviewed as part of the audit. Having created info sets for both personal findings and business and financial strategy findings, Paula uses the union operation to combine these info sets into a single info set. Paula completes the creation of this new info set, which she names Desktop Audit Results. This now includes information for both personal and business aspects of the audit. Paula takes action on this combined info set by copying it to an audit findings repository where additional analysis can be completed before the exposures are ultimately resolved. Paula selects to have this copy action take effect immediately. 
She then reviews the details of the execution log and confirms that the action was completed and the content was made available without exceptions. Today we have seen how a business technical analyst was able to understand, analyze, and manage her data in order to complete a business controls audit reducing the risk of inadvertent disclosure for her business. For more information, please contact IBM. Thank you.